Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how to find the name server in GoDaddy Hosting. I'm not going to show you how to change them, but how to find your hosting name servers so that you can point your domain to GoDaddy Hosting from other domain registrars like Namecheap. Arnie, how do you point your domain name? Come and start. Tip Sweat Punch Alright, for most hosting providers like GoDaddy and SiteGround, the name servers change depending on hosting plan and domain name. First, I will take you through step by step on how to add the new domain which doesn't exist in GoDaddy yet that you bought from another domain registrar. If you already have a domain or add-on domain installed in GoDaddy, you can skip to about 1 minute and 20 seconds in this video. If you don't have the domain in GoDaddy yet, then follow these steps. First, log in to your GoDaddy cPanel. There, under Domains, click on Add-on Domains. Then, add a new domain you want to point to your hosting. In my case, it will be StoreMonkeyWP.com. The other fields will be filled in automatically. And next, click on Add-on Domain. Now, you will see that you have a, a new add-on domain. And in the file manager, there's a folder for the domain and for now it's empty. Don't worry confused Travolta, it's empty on purpose. Next, we need to find the name servers for that newly created add-on domain. And the process is the same for existing domains. So go to my domains. The domain we just added is here at the bottom. If you don't have this, then change the view here on the right. And then check that nothing is filtered out. For example, my status is only for active, but I want to see all of them. So let's change that. Then click on domain you just created and find manage DNS or something similar if you're on another hosting. Now scroll until you see NS or name server. There should be two of them. If you're looking at an existing domain, then the name servers have a separate section. And here you can also change the name servers. Just by clicking this button. And that's it. You can now grab these two name servers and paste them into your dashboard of your domain registrar. If your domain is bought from Namecheap, then check the video that appears on your screen now, where I show you how to do it. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Oh,